Okay, so uh, welcome to my first tutorial. Um, I'm going to take you through a couple of tricks with the Bezier pen tool um, as well as the pencil tool in Inkscape and um, show you maybe a couple of uh, tricks that might help you along with your your art and designs hopefully. So um, I've heard uh, experienced artists say that they hate the Bezier tool or, or they're not particularly fond of it. They don't feel like they have the level of control with it that they want. Um, but you do find it in most art programs, uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, um, as well as what we're going to be uh, looking at today, so Inkscape. So it's a useful tool, um, and uh, trust me, it's, it's your friend, or at least it's, it will become your friend. Um, so the problem with it is that the tool takes on a bit of a life of its own. So uh, it affects your next curve based off of the angle of the previous curve, so like this. So I draw, draw out a curve this way, and you can see automatically I'm now going to get a curve um, going to my next point. But let's say I just want a straight line going from maybe here out to here. You're going to see it's not going to allow me to get that straight line. It's giving me a curve automatically. Um, that's not a problem. What you just do, or what you want to do, is you just want to drag off to the side, um, maybe as if it's a... I don't know, a piece of thread or something. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't sew. Um, but anyway, so you drag it away and then just go back to uh, where you want your straight line to begin. Give a click and now you see you can get your your straight line. So you just now drag that out to where you want it and then finish off your shape, whatever it is your shape is. I have no idea what this is, but we just finish up. And so we get the shape that you wanted in the first place and then you've of course got this big lump off to the side here uh, easy enough to get rid of so you just draw a shape over top of it and now what you want to do is you want to select both of these objects at the same time so hold down or just hit S for select and then hold down shift and click on the other object the original one and what we're going to do here is we're going to go path and then difference but what we really want to do is just use the shortcut on the keyboard so control minus and you're just left with uh, with the original shape you wanted to draw again whatever whatever that is um, and so you can see with the the Bezier pen tool you can get a lot of um, control a lot of precision you can carve away into an object and get exactly the kind of shape that you were looking for. Um, so yeah, so I mean that's that's pretty straightforward. So you can get some cool stuff that way. A lot of precision, um, a lot of control. Um, but let's go the other direction now and let's just say um, there might be certain circumstances where uh, you don't really want a lot of control over what's being done. Maybe you want to quickly create something abstract. And so that's where the pen, uh, pencil tool rather in Inkscape is pretty neat. Um, you can see just drawing with it, it's pretty standard. You just draw your little squiggly line or whatever. Um, what is a neat feature with the pencil tool is um, you can copy the shape that you draw and then you can tell Inkscape you see up here we got shape to set the tip of the pencil as if it's that object that you just copied to the clipboard so I had this shape selected I hit control C to copy and now I'm gonna say set the shape to what's in the clipboard which again is this shape here so now when I draw I start getting some pretty cool uh, abstract designs coming out because it's as if the uh, the tip of the pencil was that squiggly line that um, that I'd copied so if you want to quickly create some cool abstract images that is one way to do it. Again, each of these are um, their objects in, in their own right, so you can set their fill to different colors and, um, of course, move them up, home end, page up, page down, to uh, change the order that they appear in. And you can also do that control minus trick to have them 
subtract from each other. And then we're left with some <laughs> some interesting kind of shapes that we can leave abstract or as an exercise and this is what I do with some of my students um, I have them then try to find something recognizable inside of that abstract shape and then try and take that and make a picture out of it so we've got this here and I have no idea what it may be almost looks like sort of a warped Pac-Man right there anyways um so yeah so just a couple tricks there one with the Bezier pen tool one just to show you can get um, get all the control that you want with the pen tool and um, and also if you don't want to have direct control you just want to create some quick abstract designs you can easily and, and quickly do that with the pencil tool okay so uh, thanks very much for uh, watching my first tutorial um, if you have any ideas of what you might uh, like to see from this please go ahead leave a comment um, but if you'd like to see what I come up with in the future go ahead and hit subscribe and um, yeah I should be back with a, a new tutorial soon right. thanks for watching